So right off the bat, there is some stuff in here. You know, that does, that does concern me a little bit. oil it kind of smells like fuel but I think all oil kind of smells like fuel now I don't know um, I don't see any particles everything looks good I don't know it looks like the oil yeah, there's no real particles at the bottom nothing shiny and metallic that I can see of I mean maybe a few particles but that's it I mean, you can barely see them so everybody, it is the next day here. Uh, I have the oil filter that we're going to cut apart and just try and take a look and see if there's any crazy metal in here. Um, anything shiny. Um, I have my light here. And it's cool, the light has a little magnet on the bottom. We'll be able to run the magnet over it and just see if we pick up anything. Now, this won't, of course, pick up aluminum. There is aluminum in our engine. It's, it is, the block is aluminum, magnesium alloy, but at least this will give us a little bit of a uh, idea if our engine is chewing itself apart. My engine, I felt, was super, super clean, and we were only doing the piston rings, not the bearings, you know, so I felt that the wear and tear on the bearings would have already been done. It's just the rings and the, the cylinder block. So let's let's just dive into this and cut this open. What you want to do is get yourself a box cutter and cut in along the edge here, uh, right where the top or the bottom is and this will unfold like an accordion and then we'll be able to take a look at it nicely. Don't cut your thumb off. some stuff in here that we can see um, may have to get a little different camera for this but there's a little piece of metal there um, and just a bunch of crud there's it, it seems like there's like a lot of like fibrous hairs a little bit of silicone there I mean I guess the engine was not as clean as I thought, but there's a lot of stuff in here. So I guess this is why you're supposed to change your oil a lot sooner, is to get rid of all this stuff because you may be running a lot of this stuff through your engine, which is no good. Look at that. It just looks like little hairs. I mean, none of it went through, so <clears throat> that's, I guess, the reason why you have your oil filter in the first place, to catch all that stuff, which is great. Just, you have to understand that your N52 has um, the Vanos system, and the Vanos has its own little mesh uh, filter uh, that you should clean out once in a while. It actually has two of them. We did that, and that catches all this little stuff as well that should not get in there because once it's in there it can really wreak havoc on um, on uh, your your vano system and cause you all different types of problems and codes so i'm going to cut the rest of this open and we'll see how much metal we get here all right so this is the accordion that i'm talking about here and there's a lot of dirt in here. I'm gonna go get another camera to try and show you this a bit better. So I got my other camera here, and as you can see, 
There's lots of kind of gunk and uh, fibrous stuff, hairs, um, little shavings, tiny shavings of metal, um, or like fibers of metal in here. So, should I have changed my oil earlier? Well, there's not too much of it, but I would say that uh, there definitely is some crud in here. Uh, does it concern me? Well, I don't know. But when I do see shiny bits of metal, you know, that does, that does concern me a little bit. Um, I'm gonna now wand this and see. I'm gonna use a, uh, look at those pieces right there. I'm gonna use a little magnet to see if we collect anything, uh, any bits of metal on this thing. So, let's turn this off. I did have some other magnets, but I can't seem to find them, so YOLO, we're just gonna send it. Just get this nice and clean, with a bit of brake clean. And let's just put this magnet over top of this. So already, wow. Look at that. That is metal uh, and quite a bit of it. Lots of it looks to be like shavings of metal, like fibrous, kind of like as if you like hair, hairs of metal, which is interesting. Um, so definitely there was a, quite a bit of metal that got worn, worn in on this motor. Um, and this is why they want you to change your oil sooner so that you can get all this gunk out and you don't have this stuff going through your bearings or going through your Vano system. Because uh, it can definitely screw things up. You know, it can, uh, it can get in places that it shouldn't and wear out different components like the valve stem seals or mainly I'd be worried about that going through my bearings. The bearings is a very soft uh, material that uh, the piston, the crankshaft and the piston rides on and that's what wears out. So if that's going through there, it can score it. Same thing with the camshafts, that kind of crap going through there can really do some damage and score score the camshafts. But luckily that's why we have a, a filter to filter this all out. Um, here I'll change cameras so you can get a closer look. So here is what I'm talking about. It's a little shavings, little hairs of metal. Um, and that's definitely stuck on there. Like if I shake this, you know, that that's still there. That's definitely metal. Um, so I'm assuming, I'm trying to think what would this be? Because I thought the cylinder walls were a aluminum magnesium compound, but this would probably be like iron or something like that. So yeah. I mean, there's lots of it. Well, not a lot of it, but I mean, it's everywhere. So, should you change your oil within the, the manufacturer's recommendation, recommended specifications? So, I think for a BMW, was every after a rebuild, it was like 1,200 miles or something like that. Should you change your oil? I would say yes. There's a lot of like gunk and dirt and stuff that's still in there from the manufacturing process, even from my rebuild. There seems to be a lot of kind of crud in here. A um, Little bit of silicone there. Um, so, yeah, I think you should definitely change your oil sooner. But uh, so far, no problems with the car. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. How often should you change or what is the manufactured recommendation for changing the oil after an engine rebuild? Is it 500 miles? Is it 1,000 miles? 1,200 miles? Uh, let me know down below. And let me know what your experience is. Um, what do you think that this is? Because 
I thought the block was aluminum and I thought these shavings would be the bearings uh, wearing, wearing in. And I thought that this would be the piston rings wearing into the cylinder head, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, or maybe I'm wrong about what material the engine block is made out of. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We'll also see when the oil, if you guys are interested, I sent off the oil, as you saw earlier, for a test to see what's in it and uh, the oil, the, to see what kind of metals in it and we're gonna get that back real soon. And we'll be able to compare it to see if we have catastrophic, catastrophic damage or not. So don't forget to drop a like and hit the subscribe button with notifications for that video. Uh, well, that one will be dropping soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.